Okay, um, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break um, after this little mini session. So let's see if we can pull out all of the things that we've been working on throughout the years of playing chess. 59 ways to beat chess. See how we can get on. Tempting to push this pawn. I'm always tempted to push that one. I'm going to put a check on the king, beat a pawn. Yep. Okay, let's just bring the bishop back. So try and keep it as basic as possible. It's got the Fianchetto thing. We like to block that off, don't we? Our knight's here blocking the way. Let's try and start the process of getting it blocked off. Let's castle. So we don't need to move fast. It's a 15 minute, 10 second game, but I'm feeling a bit confident about where we've got to king safety. Next thing is potentially keeping our king with some company. That's as basic as we can get it. Could now look to hit here. Pawn takes, pawn takes. I think we could do that, you know. Bishop's not off the back. Do we need to rush to do that if we attack? Pawn takes. Pawn takes. It's not forced to take though, but we'll go with it anyway. I think it's might win us a movement of some sort. Okay, let's go with it. So we might end up with double pawns here. So they have actually captured. We could take with the knight. And just get the knight off the board. Then this pawn is a little bit loose. But then our bishop can come and support it, can't it, here. Giving our king some company. If we went and attacked... Maybe the knight does take, pawn comes here. We take, we go, he takes, then he takes, then he's got the, but then we've got the rook here. I'm going to take with the knight, attack there knight. Just trying to keep that initiative going. Just spotted it there. I'm hoping it's win winning us the tempo that we need to get a better position on the board. So I'm looking if they do trade, trade. And then if the queen takes, then the rook's going in the file. That's a key thing. But it does have a bishop here, which maybe might not be too good. But they don't have to take because it's, it's still even Stevens with the pawns at the minute. Could just leave it there. Might even move it out of the way. It does take, so we're going to go with that rhythm. Rook potential. Then the knight comes and tries to chew the pawn up. He'll have a 2-1-1 though, won't he? When the knight comes here, he'll have a two on one because he's got the bishop on, so we've potentially kind of lost the pawn. Eee. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Rook's all in the file. Knight's jumping here. Yeah, okay, so we could push the pawn, but we don't have any balances there. Like we said, could bring the bishop here, but we have lost the pawn. Knight's protected by the bishop. Nothing else. Don't think we're gonna get the pawn back anytime soon. Pawn goes to protect. I think if the pawn goes to protect, then he's going to be looking to try and get rid of this pawn. So I don't think they'll take now with the knight or the bishop because a smaller piece is gonna take back. So they'll be looking to disturb it somehow. Well, at least we've started the initiative. I think we're probably going to end up doubling pawns with this um, bishop being here. Yeah, so he's going to challenge. So we can push the pawn up onto the knight now. But again, he can come and attack it. And we don't have a defender. Bishop could come here, but then he can just drop down. Or the bishop could come here and defend it. Bishop could put a check on the king now. So it's giving them something to think about. Then we can push the pawn up and at least the bishop's defending. 
but it does have this pawn that can attack it. We move down, then the knight takes it off the board, then his bishop takes the pawn. So uh, all this effort to try and protect it, I don't think it's going to work. Push. Got to stop messing with these damn arrows, really. Or oh, bishop check. It is checks first, isn't it? So we could go with the check first. He could just block down with his pawn, but then we can take the pawn. So keep the initiative going. As we said, he's got the potential for knocking us down. But if his knight's there, this pawn's blocking. So, and we could take the pawn, actually, just to get it out of the way altogether. Pushing here, it's blocking our own bishop. Knight is definitely coming here to attack it and he's going to two on one again with his bishop and his knight. So I think really we need to just take take because we're going to lose the pawn somehow because he's constantly getting two on ones. So let's just take the pawn off the board. Like we said, probably going to end up doubling the pawns here. Oh, he's not done that. He's blocked it with his own pawn. So we could bring the bishop here, x ray and through to theirs putting a two on one onto the knight obviously the knight can simply move then it's a simple exchange that's where bishop is still on the back he'll be chomping at the bit to get the knight okay keeping the initiative means i'm probably just going to attack the knight just trying to give them something to think about constantly oh, i see him that coming a mile off let's just take the bishop off the board Next thing now is this doubling of the knight. Do we move the knight out of the way, but we can't go there. We can come here. Or we can go here. So if we go there, he pushes down onto the knight. It gives him attacking rights on here. Okay, so they've moved dead quick in a sense. So it's almost like they feel they've got it sewn up. We need to do something maybe attack the knight we know this is coming we know it's going to get doubled but if they did do that we could bring the bishop here attacking their bishop but then i suppose their rook could come here as well but our rook is supported i don't know let's go with that let's attack the knight it's not coming here maybe he comes here to attack this pawn there's lots of maybes if oh what stop 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 what are you doing my gosh there so he is going for that so we're going to attack the bishop i need to stop messing with the arrows it messes up my game or rather stop playing around during the game when i'm playing the normal serious games i do not touch the mouse whatsoever unless i'm just going to make the move so that's what we said would happen so we've got to check on his king doesn't mean we've won anything like and then we can take the rook Then his rook is owning the file. Then if we did attack, then our knight is going backward. And his knight is coming in and attacking. It is doable. I don't really see much wrong with it. Or do we just start getting the king across? And if he takes, then we're just automatically owning. But his knight's probably going to jump here. So maybe we want to push this pawn to stop that. If we push this just to stop the knight from getting activated, yep. Because we know owning the file is quite key for the rooks, in, especially coming towards this. We class this as the end game now. We might look for an exchange. Right, stop messing with the arrows. So he could say it's petering out to be a draw. Oh, he's going for the exchange. So he want, wants to split his pawns or is he going for it? Is he still going to split his pawns either way, isn't he? Going to take, keep it simple. I'm not going to over overcomplicate it. And so he wants to split the pawns. Let's 
bring the rook here, just blocking the pawn. Well, it's not blocking it yet, but can we bring the rook here, just blocking it, and then get the king up? Is it more or less a draw? Maybe I could have pushed. Oh no, I can't yet. So I could push this pawn onto this pawn. His king is in the center. So if we pushed onto the pawn, his king comes here. And if we take, then his rook takes, then we take, and his king is in the center. And our king is stuck right over here. So I'm going to have to move my king. Get it further up. I don't think we're going to get that tempo. I think they're going to be a bit clever out there and block. Oh! So if we did that, he just comes back down again. Get my king a little bit further up. Maybe he's trying to come across the other side. So we could hit it now. Because this has only got the king supporting. So I'm going to hit the pawn now. Not that that makes much difference, I suppose. Yeah, because if we take, then his rook takes, pawn takes, his king's still in that area. I think we have to take the pawn anyway. Take the pawn, his rook comes, then we put a check on his king. Yeah. Rook takes, put a check on the king. Put a check on the king. His rook's not coming here. Could come down round the back, but not yet. Obviously, he's still checked in. So he's going to stay close to our rook. And his rook's looking to come round the back. Is there any magical? Could look to get the rook off the board. Our king is in the centre. Looks look a bit drawish now, doesn't it? So if we hit the rook, then at least our king is centralised if they do take. Is it a Zugzwang situation now? I hate the Zugzwangs. One. Block. Probably done it wrong. We're practicing the end games, but I think this is um this is a draw, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's any Zugzwangy things. Yeah, it's just gonna move from side to side. Could we break the Zugzwang somehow? Maybe if we took our time and just did one. Can he do something? Push down, we take. If we do one, let's see how it pans out. Just do one. Then his last one is this one. Then we do one. Then these ones. Well, I suppose he can push down. I can't really do much, can I? So it looks like it's going to be a draw. He does one, I do one. Maybe he just moves his king. He doesn't want to move his king because we'll come to the side. Oh, okay, so we'll go to the side. Let's do a count. This looks favorable for us. We go one, his king can't come here, it can't come there. If he decides to come across trying to defend, then we can go here and take, take, take. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't think they should have moved there. I thought they had more chance here. So if we come and grab this pawn. Ooh, if he takes, we take and blocks him. Still blocks his angle. Take on the inside, outside. Take on the inside. It's going for the queen. Let's push. I think we're fasting. Yes. Brilliant. And that's taken us to a nice nice level. We're in the meaty zone of this um, strongest site. Like I said, the problem might be taking a few days off now.